Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph, I'm here with Rack, and today we're checking out the insert for Imperium Classics. Imperium Legends is for one of the boxes. You only need one of the boxes because everything fits in here. This is from Laserox. So the question is, how well does it fit in the box? So let's get started. First of all, a little bit of a, you know, piece of the lid doesn't go all the way down and I will explain why. Now, I could make that happen, but I will show you why. So. In the box here, let's get started. These, you know, every all the cards are in here basically. I'll get into that more in a minute. Now we have this piece that is a never seen this before, but it's pretty cool if I can make it happen. Here we go. These are a bunch of small boxes all connected by a middle piece like that. So here we have the all the player pieces, the die there, and then we have these like the resources and everything. And now I could have fewer of these in here. And that one sticks a little bit. I could have a fewer of these and then it would be a little bit more tight. Now this little piece down here also, this is the piece that holds everything together. This has a bit of unnecessary wood down here. Like this means that in the box here, it's gonna be lifted up a little bit. So I almost want to like cut off basically the bottom of this, which might be a, you know, I might do that on my own, even that's not, it's not intended to do that. It's intended to be like this. And if you look at the pictures on the website of Laser Rocks, it's flat. Mine isn't, and I can't really figure out why. Like again, these click together, right? So they click together like this. And if you're really careful when you assemble this and you put the middle piece in there, you could get it to be very much, or at least very close to being flush, like this. But yeah, problem is then you can't really have that many of these pieces in here. So not really happy with, I mean, it's a cool idea. It's a cool design. I like where they're coming from with this idea. And I don't know, I'm not a big fan of that, of this whole piece. Like it's a cool idea. It looks nice here with this on the side and everything. But yeah, we'll see how I will solve that for myself. I think basically if I just remove this thing, then it's all fine. Problem is then how am I gonna re reach in here and grab these things, I don't know. All right, let's talk about the card placement. So these can be on top here. And now, of course, with the game, if you have both boxes of the game, then everything sort of fits in here, but you still like, you can't have this, like you have, we still have like an extra die and stuff like that. I still have stuff in here. I also have some cards and this is the, main issue that we come to now. So this is the idea is that you're supposed to be having all the cards in here sleeved and so on. It is very, very tight. I And I also feel like the place in here is a little bit unevenly distributed. So for example, over here we have the Kels. I can lift up the Kels, no problem. This is ultra pro sleeves, by the way. So, you know, Normal thickness for sleeves, I would say. No problem to use the Kels here. However, and the same goes for some other hair. No problem with the uh, the Vikings. Fit nicely in there. Can move this around if you want to as well, which is probably what I think you have to do. Because when we get to something like, oh, I want to play like uh, the Persians. Like getting the Persians out of here. Yeah, it's not easy. And the thing is, my main concern here well, I'm gonna try to get the Persians out first. My main concern is also that when I place them down here, not when I, I mean, this is fiddly, but it sort of works. It's not a big deal, sort of, not a big deal. You have to <laughs> get everything out of there. Okay, so here we go. We have to put that one back. Here's the Persians. However, I am, I'm a little bit worried when I try to put them in here, which is super, super tight that I will start hurting the sleeves if I keep taking them up, putting them down. Like I think I already did a little bit just by placing them there once. To also demonstrate, I have a second set of Persians here <laughs> because this is other sleeves. These are the ultimate guard sleeves. If we look at them like this, I don't know, it's much difference. So these are ultimate guard matte sleeves or katana sleeves as they're called these days. And this is super, super, super tight. Like, there you go. I will have to use force and push them in here, which I don't like the idea of. 
So I am very disappointed with the insert. That's that's what I'm trying to get to here in my review. Because I like the idea. I like how it looks. I like that you, you're supposed to be able to fit everything here. That's another thing. Some of my cards here are not sleeved and they're still, it's still tight. Because I have, of course, like I have some cards that are four plus players or three plus players. I haven't even sleeved those since I only play basically one or two players. Same goes in here. I have, so this is double. This is, some of these are double. It's like you don't, you don't need a double set of unrest cards. So that's fine. Same goes for this. But these are for three plus and four players. Since I never play on three or four, I haven't sleeved them. So if I would sleeve them and try to put them in here, I mean, that would be even harder to fit in here. Also, I have, let's see if I can find them because, so here, okay. So here's the normal unreds. They fit nicely in there. No problem, sort of. This is very, very fiddly. I think it's too tight. Like, I mean, the box is what it is. It's not like they could have built a larger insert, right? But I don't know, give us, I don't know. I don't know how to solve it. Maybe since there's some extra room almost for some of these and there's too tight on some, get rid of this piece maybe, or something like that. Get rid of these pieces, these wooden pieces have it in some other way. Maybe there's ways to, to uh, design a, an insert to give it more space because it looks so nice. It looks nice having these plastic pieces here. What I am going to do to solve this for myself since I have the insert is I'm going to remove some of these. So let's see for the Persians here. I'm just going to remove this piece here because you know, it's not really needed. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my, my Persians be next to here. And now it should work pretty good. Uh, it's almost a little bit tight anyway, but I can still see on the side here. Another nice feature of this insert, you have like the Persians here, Macedonians, Greek and so on. I like that they did that. That is sweet. And now it fits nicely having them like that, but then I can't have a divider, which is fine. You know, I can grab these and I can figure out what cards I'm supposed to be pulling out. Over here, same goes there with the name tags and everything. This one is a little bit weird. This one has like the unrest and so on, and the green card for one of the sets. And on the other side, you have the same for the other set, I guess. I'm not sure why the symbols are not on the same side though, it just would make it easier to see where everything is. Um, that's a weird uh, little thing there. So yeah, overall, not a huge positive. It's, it's not a huge negative either. I think there's good stuff about this insert, it's bad stuff. But uh, yeah, I just feel like there's the, it could have been so much better if it wasn't so, so tight. Some of these here are like super, super tight. And I worry that's going to hurt the sleeves as I keep pulling them up and down when play, you know, I want to play the game. And I might need to remove more of these, which also feels a bit sad. So that is the insert review for Imperium Classics, Imperium Legends from Laser Rocks. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And have a great evening, morning, or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye.